You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrians for Black and White Live just when we thought life was returning back to normal. As we know, the variant is running rampant, according to the media. Running rampant out there, and of course, we're starting to see it re-affect practices, normalcy, things that we were looking forward to, although I'm not sure how many people were actually looking forward to this, but let's be real. People would have went and watched this in person, and they would have been fired up to have seen Stephen A. Smith and the lunatic known as Max Kellerman live and in person. Yeah, that would have been a thing, and it would have been sold out in some sports bar somewhere. As we know, traditionally, first take goes on the road. But it doesn't seem like that's going to happen after all. Very quickly, I am wearing our Socialism Media t-shirt. You can check out any of our t-shirts right now, including our all-time best-selling The Media is the Real Virus, Defund the Athletes, La China James, Wuhan James, and of course, our next best-selling shirt, and I mean, it's flying out, the America First shirt with the Punish flag emblem on the front. You can grab that out of the merch store. Today is the last day for 25% off through the end of today. Okay. First take cancels previously announced road shows, but college game day is still planning to be on the road this fall. And let's be honest, part of that is probably because they're going to be in heavily SEC areas, which once again, the SEC is saying we're not bending the knee to a pandemic. You can forget it. We're playing games. Quote, we have made a difficult yet necessary decision to change from an on-site to a virtual presence. This is from Awful Announcing. Rising pandemic cases across the U.S. around the increasing prominence of the variant are now leading to some changes for ESPN's planned road programming. Specifically, debate show First Take was initially supposed to be live from the Center Park Stadium in Atlanta, okay, they were going to the big, big uh, uh, in Atlanta at the full stadium on Friday, August twenty seventh, ahead of the Week O Cricket Max Swack Challenge kickoff between North Carolina Central and Alcorn State on Saturday, August twenty eighth, which College Game Day was also going to be at on Saturday morning, and supposed to do some further road shows the fo following weeks, including Memphis ahead of the Southern Heritage Classic between Tennessee State and Jackson State, that Leathers' planned event feed passed along a first-take statement Monday about canceling all planned road shows. And there's the statement. After carefully considering all factors related specifically to first-takes previously announced road shows, we have made the difficult yet necessary decision to change from an on-site to a virtual presence. We remain committed to showcasing and celebrating the importance of HBCUs through various platforms, beginning with a special edition of First Take from ESPN's New York Seaport Studio on August 27th, ahead of the MIAC SWAC Challenge kickoff. Oh, wait a minute. They were going to strictly... Strictly all black universities. Okay, so they made they were making a social justice statement on uh, on top of it. Interesting. It's certainly interesting to see ESPN make that move and to see them do it weeks ahead of when an event was going to be take place. But on site operations do require advanced planning, and it's notable that first takes remote broadcast have usually been from indoor venues, which carry more of an infectious risk. That raises a good point, though. Why couldn't you have it outside? I mean, really? I've seen them do it before, uh, I believe, in the old Skip Bayless days. Interesting, to, interesting thing to watch is going to be what happens with college game day, where the road element is much more important. Panelist Lee Corso told Awful Announcing in 2016, I think the 
secret of college game day is when we went on the road. And most would agree with him. The live on-site location aspect of game day has been such a big thing over the years, leading to even countless breakdowns of what the city's show might go to and stories about where they choose to go. It's notable that game day continued to do road trips even during most of last year's pandemic-altered season. By contrast, the SEC's network's SEC Nation Last year, despite being an outside show, they went to studio and home only. But despite the challenges, game day continued to be on-site broadcast throughout 2020. Uh, Awful announcing has learned that college game day still plans to be on-site in Atlanta for week zero. And that is considered week zero of the college football season. Yeah, there is a week zero before the actual big slate of games. I believe it's the following weekend kickoff, and I believe there's a couple of massive games coming for that first college football weekend, as always, as always. And then I'm sure they'll kick off with maybe a Thursday night game ahead of time or whatever as we get into college football. I can't wait for that. But it's so interesting. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Not only is First Take canceling their live shows because of the pandemic, But their live shows were all going to be a social justice statement as they were going to all black universities. I thought it was odd. I was like, Alcorn State? And I was like, isn't that an all black college? Oh, well, the virtue signaling is strong with ESPN, as always. And I'm going to tell you what's funny. As as, As big an issue as there is by a certain side over the variant... I wonder how much criticism ESPN will take for having backed off going to these all-black universities because they may take some criticism over that, which is funny because that's the P- that's that look that's the side of the aisle they've been catering to with their broadcast now. So I don't know. I don't know. I think once again, here we are. Good God, so many people have been vaccinated, et cetera, et cetera. You know good and well that. Most of that ESPN staff, I think all of them now have been vaccinated because I think they required it. But they're still going to cancel their road show. Crazy. Peace. I'm out. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.